So first of all, you guys give yourself a round of applause. and I lost my daughter Tata to substance abuse and mental illness. Uh, it's a serious issue. Today is all about you are not alone. Everybody up here been through something and I know a lot of you guys have been through a lot. And our mission today is to change and save lives. Uh, maybe we couldn't save our loved ones, but we know the mission that we own. Uh, this is a Christian mission want to do this the right way. We want to share knowledge and information and bring awareness. We also want to be able to touch the next generation. It's so important to be able to touch the next generation and to do it through love and do it through passion. And it's all about families. You see all these families up here, everybody's been through something. And this is not a secret. We're not keeping secrets with this. We're talking in truth and we're talking in love and we're doing it the Christian way, and that's why we're doing it inside of the church today. Amen. And so we know that God is present with us, and we know that he's gonna get us through whatever we gotta go through. He's gonna help heal us as we help other families heal through these difficult times, through these uncomfortable times. Uh, this is very uncomfortable. I never imagined thinking that I'll be here, but when God called you, he called you, no matter how old you is, what you have, what you don't have. Amen. So we're going to grow together and today we're going to share our stories while uh, you guys want to ask questions, anybody has questions, anybody want to share their stories. For me, I realize my truth is I feel like I didn't do enough. It's just me as a father. I feel like I have a lot of growing to do. Uh, my kids tell me that I'm controlling. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> you know, I think I am, but I think I'm more protecting and providing and I've been through so much that I don't want them to go through it. And I'm not going to change that part, but I realized that and I want to be able to share my journey because I know there's a lot of other families out there hurting, a lot of other families dealing with substance abuse and mental illness. I feel like it's a disease. Mm -hmm. And I feel, I feel like it's a secret that we don't want to talk about because it's embarrassing. And even me, we, we talked about this earlier with some of the people that are here. We talked about how even love will take you on a journey of uh, being with the wrong person. Uh, being with the wrong people. We was talking about one of the guys here was saying that he tried drugs because of the woman that he loved. And I'm like, wow, you want to do drugs because of the woman that you love? And it sounds crazy, but it's reality. I was with somebody that was doing something wrong, and then I tried to hide the secret. I thought that I was God. I thought that I could help them, and I could change it and fix it. And I start realizing I'm not God. And then 20 years later, you get into a bad relationship. You're trying to figure out, like, why didn't I tell my kids about this so they could see what I'm going through and it's like no I want to fix everybody and I love the person and I want to help them and then we passing this down from generation to generation and I'm saying how do we stop this only way we're going to stop this is with truth All right. and so the day is going to be about truth about us telling our stories and I'm not perfect so I'm not going to say I'm perfect and I'm doing the right thing because I know I've been on that path to trying to figure it out and the only reason I'm still here because I started holding myself accountable we're not going to keep making excuses like, oh, it's your father, this one father. No, it's like, you know what? The next generation, y'all hold accountability the same way that we are here holding ourselves accountable and trying to figure it out. I feel like I'm a parent that's growing and I'm going to be here for all these other parents and kids here today. And my daughter's my parachute. I've been her parachute for so long and I'm going to be the parachute for all the other families and kids that need help. And that's, that's what my life is about today.